Uh, financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See, I'm thinking I'm analyzing that data, but that tell every day. The data release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the markets. We can make bad trading decisions. Listen, David Mishery from MULN did an interview and he revealed a lot of information that I was not privy to. And he said that they're having, well, I guess a contract dispute with uh, with Lawrence Hedge where they don't know exactly what law firm is uh, representing him, but he says he wants everything to go through great. He says he has confidence in Lawrence Hedge, and he said that they are waiting on Lawrence Hedge to return the paperwork and sign the contract, and they're also waiting on him to deliver, I guess, the battery technology to vehicles that they have sitting around in Detroit waiting on Lawrence to deliver these these batteries, the battery technology, in order for them to test them and then move forward. Okay? He also said that uh, they have multiple locations in California, multiple locations in Detroit, and they have a location in Indiana and in Mississippi. So they are moving forward. I mean, I, I find that to be very, very bullish. And once again, I'm going to tell you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. I'm just telling you what David Mishery said. He also said in the last year, they've already hired an additional 200 people. But he said something that I, I thought was a little, not straight, but he said that Lawrence Hatch has exclusive rights to Saudi Arabia. He said, so they are not going to make any money off of that off of that deal they said they gave lawrence exclusive rights to saudi arabia so i guess that they won't be getting half of that 10 billion dollars but besides that everything else that i believe that muln has going on i believe they're positive catalysts if you look at the short interest it's also a a, a potential short squeeze so in my opinion and this is just my opinion. And once again, I'm going to tell you the bar holder sold MULN. I think MULN has great potential. I think they have locations. I think they're hiring employees. And I think they're going to be a force to, rec to be reckoned with in the EV market. And that's just my opinion. Anyway, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that MULN is going to be a force to reckon with in the EV market? Especially, in my opinion, if they focus on commercial vehicles. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.